this video, we are going to discuss how to change this domain here, the built-in domain. So this video is not about adding a custom domain, but you see this random corn bamboo f6kb.squarespace.com. I recommend to everyone, any Squarespace website owner to make this custom or unique to you. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. So the first thing we're going to want to do while we're logged in is go to settings and then domains right there. And then once you're in here, you'll click on this built-in domain. Once you click on that, you could come in here and make the adjustment to whatever you like. This is a sample website. So I'm just going to say this, you could do whatever you like, and then you'll hit rename. Basically what it's changing is this corn bamboo part. It'll always say dot squarespace.com. Again, this is the built-in domain. It's always going to be there. It exists with your website. You could change it anytime, but I highly recommend just getting it set up in the beginning as soon as you can so that it's just there and set up for you. And then from there, you'll click rename and then you'll hit confirm. Now, if this domain is already taken, it'll give you some type of warning and say this name is already in use. So let's actually try that. I imagine this is taken. So let me do rename and then confirm. And you'll see here it says this domain is unavailable. But from there, you should be good to go. You'll hit rename and then confirm. And it, once I hit confirm, watch up here what happens. So I'll hit confirm. And then it'll take me back to the home page of my account. So you'll see I'm out of domains now. And now the new built-in domain is here. You will also get an email notifying you of this. And anyone who is an admin on the account will get an email notifying them that the built-in domain has been changed. So if I go here and try to go to corn bamboo again, because it's just saved in my browser, sometimes this happens, you'll see that that no longer works. And I'm not sure if this is a new fix, but I'm really happy that they did this. Uh, if you try to go to the old domain, because sometimes it gets saved in your history or your browser, you'll see here it says the old domain here, the built-in domain. If you click on that, you'll see that it actually just inherently does a redirect to your new domain, which is awesome. So now you have your new domain set up, your new built-in domain, and you're good to go. Hey, thank you for watching this video. If you got value from this video, I have some resources for you that I bet will be helpful. Check out the link down below where you could access more resources that are free for you, for your website, for your online presence, for your design, all of that. Check out the link below. With that, if you got value from this video, let me know by hitting that like button. When you hit the like button, it tells the YouTube algorithm some important information, but it also tells me that you got value from this video. And if you want more content like this, please subscribe. When you subscribe, you'll make sure you get updated every single week. We publish a new video every single Friday. So when you hit that subscribe button, you will be notified. And with that, have a great day wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.